I fight with a chip on my shoulder for the same reason being that they keep saying other people is ranked rank number one above me. So, you know, I want everybody to know who the pound for pound number one fighter in the world is. You knocked out 140 pounders that they say you wasn't big and strong enough for. You stopped 147 pounder. At some point, do you think you'll get your credit as being big and strong enough to bang with these guys? Not at all. Not until I clean them out. When, when you look at the 147 pound division, is there anybody that you hope to meet at the top or is it just who's ever there you willing to face? And I'm willing to face whoever, whenever, however, all of them. I've been saying I want them all and I believe, you know, top ranking, uh, Al Haven, hopefully they can start doing business together and we can get these fights made. Just gotta keep working, getting better and better and winning the fights that you need to win and the business side uh, got to play out. The two sides work together. And it got to make sense for both sides to do it. Like I've been saying, it's not the promoters that everybody's saying, oh, well, Bob Aaron not going to let the fight happen and this and that. No, it's not that. It got to make people sense. Say. It got to make sense. I didn't fought Al Heyman fighters before over, over on the other side. Uh, they not saying nothing about that. But it made sense. So this is a bigger magnitude of a fight that we're talking about. So if it don't make sense, then the promoter is not gonna, you know, work together. Right. So that's that's where we at, right?